The questionnaire asked me about my sources. I started with something tied around failure. Now listen to me, my dearest audience. About my vision, revelation and mission, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter how many times my nation apprehends my efforts, not even the failure of my hard works. Mr. President has nothing to do with my sources, neither should my failure count on the federal government. The gun that guns me down is not enough to be the excuse for my downfall, not even the trigger of the bullet, but the trigger should trigger me to the top of the world. The right hard work can never be found. No big man has ever Googleized the right job for himself. Rather, they do the right thing at the right time to get the right money in the right palms. I learn not to wake up. I learn not to wake up with my creator. Pray to God not to be the prey to predators. I beg God to help me not to be beggar at the roadside of Lagos. I thank God for the past, the present, and the future, not to be the victim of failure. I believe in so first. What are your seeds second? Then wait patiently for germination. And in this comprehension, your plantation dies. Just pay attention because harvest will be nice and success comes your way. Failure doesn't count. This is the first Sunday again. Um, I'm so thankful to God. I'm so grateful to God for what God did, what God has done, what He's still doing in our lives, in your life. I'm grateful to God that uh, we are allowed to see this month or maybe today. I don't know which time you'll be watching the video, but I know that God is faithful. Faith, God can be trusted, God can be, is loyal. Whatever that is happening to you, don't forget that God can be trusted. God can be trusted. God can be say, yes, this God is too good. This God is too much. Hallelujah. Uh, I'm sure uh, the video you just watched is a blessing to you. One of my sons, um, Adeshola, uh, spoken word, Oga. Yeah, I'm sure it, it's it did bless you. Listen, there's no how. There's no body on planet Earth that is useless unless the person decides by himself to be useless. Now today I want to focus on the young people. And if you are joining me for the first time, stumbling on this video for the first time, maybe on a various, um, on whatever platform, maybe Facebook, YouTube, uh, Instagram, this is short word with Prophet Debola, I know. There's a lot of things that is happening with young people out there that, you know, people like us, we are concerned about it. You know, people don't know that the Image of God's ministry is, the Image of God's world, we have a slogan called Nurturing the Next Generation. Unfortunately, the generation that we are today, what they want to shop tomorrow, they are eating today and if your gen if what you want to eat tomorrow are already eating it now there's a problem you see somebody just got 200,000 and then in the next few days he has finished eating it asking ask him what did he use the money to do is to buy clothes clothes that will fit in the next few months we are in a generation of young people that are not futuristic we're in a generation of, uh, of young people that are not looking forward to the to, to tomorrow when a generation of, of young people who are wayward, who are nonchalant, who are arrogant, who are stupidly, you know, behaving anyhow because there's no caution, there's no body in charge of their lives. Unfortunately, our parents as bastardized, as useless, are rendered themselves irresponsible to the extent whereby they are not in charge of their home, they are not in charge of their children. Like I always tell people, there's no excuse that can excuse you from all the nonsensical behavior that you are doing now. Coincidentally, I saw one of my sons going to work this morning and I said, I was not mentioning some of the young people around and they told me, and I said, it's just a matter of time. 
Now I am not judge of the jungle, but I know by scripture what God has said concerning his word. It's just a matter of time. We will know who is who. We will know that, okay, this is important. This is not important. This I should do. This I should not do. We're in a generation of young people who doesn't give a damn about traditions. We're a generation of young people who don't even see anything, nothing else than just money. And so there's no how they want to get the money at all costs. They cut soap, they kill people, they fraud people, they steal from people, they do a lot of things because they want to get money. But the money they are getting, what are they using the money to do? Ask them, what do they use the money? To eat food, to buy clothes, to prostitute, to gamble, to do drugs. Anything short of that, nothing else. Or buy car flaunt it around. Now, I'm speaking to you, young man, I'm speaking to you, young woman. A time will come. Listen, you know, sometimes I tell people, the boobs, the breast, we fade away. The, fat, the, the flashy car you, you bought just now, we fade away. It will become old school. As a matter of fact, when you book, we, are to, we are told that they are, they are constantly making new, new products. And so how dare you want to kill yourself? And unfortunately, unfortunately, some fathers, some parents, some adults, some elders encourage these young ones. I told you, I shared, was it last week or last two weeks? I called the man, say, I've observed this about your, your child. It took us an insult. Because it's a normal thing now. Ah, you know, your, your mates are doing it, now you should go and make money. How they make the money they don't want to hear. Short word. This Sunday morning, and unfortunately, even the church has failed. The church has failed. Mark my words. I know sometimes I get called. I come, I, I call assist our church to do this. Come, I help our, our church to bring young people. And I say, can these young people trust you? Times that number of cancel. Say this is how you want to relate. But when when they come, you begin to judge them. You begin to say a lot of things. Begin to misbehave. We have stories about young people that entered the church and they treated them like trash and they went back to the world. And they testified that I was in church before. As a matter of fact, check most of the people that we're talking about today. They started from the church. But because the church was not able to manage them, they are refused to understand that, come, this thing is not like that. But when they are looking for members, they can do a lot of things. Don't forget the word of God, the Bible says, is for rebuke, is for reproof, is for edifying, is for lifting. And that's what I'm trying to do. I'm not trying to throw stone at anybody. I'm not trying to say I am better. But I'm trying to tell every young man out there. What does the Bible say is in ecstatic? It said, remember now your creator. Sometimes I tell people, if only I have, you know, I know God before now. Yes, I started early also, but I became born again. I started, I will have, there's a possibility I will have gotten better than this. Because then and then, life is simple. You connect to God easily. So what is the way out? Enough of all this nonsense. If you don't have, one of the fruit of the Spirit is self-control. If you don't have control now, there's no way you have self-control. If you have 1,000 error now and you are misbehaving, it's when you have 10,000 naira, you can control yourself. You as a parent, take up the responsibility of taking care of your child. Whatever you have is what your child should take. You as a boy, you as a girl. You know, I'm sure there's a, there's a video I did recently on sex education. That's another area. But from sex, there are other things that you are, you, you are responsible. No, don't forget, you, you as a parent, you will give an account of a stewardship concerning that child. Everything God has told you, every instruction God has given to you about that child, if you do it anyhow, you will give an account. Like, I, I'm not, I, if I look into the, look, use the, 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 the scripture to judge, 
Some will go to FIR because they failed their child. They failed the responsibility of their children. So please, I beg you by God's mercy, because all the politics that have been played in the world, all the politics that have been played in the church, that's what I tell people, I'm not a church person. I've never for once been a church person. I don't have any problem with church. I have my own church. But there's a lot of nonsense that is happening in the church today that does not encourage young people to stay in the church. There's a lot of politics that's been played. There's a lot of, you know, misunderstanding. There's a lot of nonsense. And say you love, 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 love by mouth. May God deliver us in Jesus' name. Because this is the last days, and these last days, there's a lot, there's a need for us to fortify ourselves as children of God. And when it comes to young people, there's a, there's a need for the church, there's a need for individual, there's a need for us collectively to rise and begin to help these young people. As a matter of fact, there's a need for us to begin to engage them because the, the young people cannot be void of anything. If you leave them on their own, they will do something. And what they will do for now, Bible says foolishness in their hearts. So you, church, for the church leaders, rise up to this. For you as a young man, put a change. Do not be on, on, on unequally yoked with unbelievers. I have friends. I have, I don't have enemies. But I know who I call my friends. I don't just call anybody my friends. I don't just carry everybody along. Because friendship is about influence. One of the major problems of young people today is their friend. I know some boys in my area, they don't smoke before, they don't do drugs before, but now they do it. And his friends are introduced to them. And the parents were watching. And they allowed it. A prayer for you once again, for every young man, that God will deliver you. Because whether you like it or not, it's just about time. Time will tell you that these things you are doing is wrong. And for every parent out there that have neglected these children, these youths, these things, this teenager, the judgment of God is coming upon you. So either you repent and begin to take your responsibility back as a father, as a mother. And as a church also, wake up to this responsibility. Don't do it anyhow. Don't play politics, don't do all those things. This short word, Prophet Debola, I know. Sorry, I have to be hard again today because it's becoming uh, a disturbing atmosphere for people like us to see these things and to keep quiet about this. This week, God will bless you, God will favor you, God will lift you up in the name of Jesus. Even as we begin another new month, in my church, he said the month of new beginning. I pray that new things begin to happen to you in Jesus name please go to our platform subscribe to our, to our, uh, our page YouTube Facebook Instagram it will bless your life so you can follow some of the videos that we have to share which is one of the teachings that we that we share with you after this video you see some of our details be a partner be a covenant partner to sow into a ministry uh, you want to speak to a counselor and if you see don't see it on the collar after this video you see our details can speak to a counselor a problem share is half solved before you talk about prayer you need to learn to share with somebody somebody that is a professional somebody that understands somebody that is godly not because the person is the pastor alone but is he or she a professional does he understand what you are saying and is he or she a godly person Lord bless you once again in Jesus name we have other programs for the rest of the year we have an on-site program they are pouring we have programs that's coming up this uh, this this coming Saturday we call it uh, common mistakes singles make you can't afford to miss it it will still be viewed live on our social media platforms we have on 29th also uh, um, two broken are you too broken to move forward, are you too broken to be forgiven? Are you too broken, uh, too too broken to to be healed? Join us one day um, a, a program. We want to pray, want to share the word of God. 
You can follow to me. It's August 29th on a Sunday evening by 9 p.m. Uh, we have other programs also, prophetic, uh, prophetic prayer for businessmen and women come September. You can't afford to miss that also. The Lord bless you once again in the name of Jesus. Be a covenant partner of the Image Mikas ministry. The Lord bless you in Jesus' name. Shalom. In our presence, we won't go on no echo. One no bore my iniquities, cross of Calvary pain for my sins. Ning won't go on no echo. All by all I know, all I know. Oh, but I love 